All right, let's see what else we got here. Go, go, Gregson cross-examination. All right. Tell me about this fog. Tell me about this fog. I like fog, you say. <laughs> the regulation fog? What about it? You can see the opposite side of the street for once. Not much further, though. Okay. That's light, is it? On this part, yes. Not something I'd expect from a Japanese fellow like you to know, of course. Well, that's a nice. I read that London is famous for its fog. But in my country, people usually imagine that gives the city a rather beautiful appearance. Yeah, like everybody's smoky on the same time. <laughs> How quaint. Yes, well, is that something else long in this sense to romanticize? <laughs> as I expect you can appreciate. I I, I see. Uh, so that's, yeah, I think one time where you did that, I know that you will need to do it, but I lost audio now. Oh. Yeah, I can work with it. God damn it. At this time of the year, the fog causes a large number of accidents, especially when it's heavy. Sometimes you can even see your own hand at the end of your arm. <laughs> That's the heavy fog then. Indeed. The other day I was very nearly trampled by horses before I could see the carriage they were pulling. <laughs> okay. Ugh. This is such a sign I should definitely remember to stop, look, and listen. Always look both ways, right? Before you cross the street. However, on the day that concerns us, the fog was somewhat lighter than usual. A fact not all lamented by the accused. But then also, who was witness? Hmm. Okay, no one else but the victim and the accused. Alright, tell me about this victim and the accused. How are you able to state that with any certainty? Someone saw it. <laughs> I simply know it was strange because that is what the witnesses to this crime have told us. And where were they? Witnesses. Ah, oh, yes. Inspector Gregson mentioned the witnesses yesterday, didn't he? Flashback. Oh. That's right. One of them was a policeman, I believe, from Scotland Yard. Yeah, that's the. I forgot the name again. I forgot the name again. What was his name? Rolly. Slightly. Rolly Beat. Rolly beat. Okay. Rolly beat. Right. Rolly beat. Rolly beat. Rolly poly. Th th then we must hear the testimony. Wait. He's a policeman with the name Rolly. He's a Rolly Polis. Rolly Polis man? Nice. <laughs> Rolly Polis. Uh, the prosecution will, of course, call them to the stand. Should it be necessary? Should it be necessary? No. Should we hear from eyewitnesses? Probably not, right? But, but wait a minute. At five o'clock in the afternoon, in the middle of winter, it would have been dark already. Police officers need to turn on the lights. No matter how light the fog may have been, no one could have seen. I'm aware of the situation of the tiny island in the east, but here in the capital city of Great Britain, all main roads are illuminated in the night by gas street lights. Ah. Uh -huh. The prosecution believes there will have been ample light by which to, to witness the crime. Huh. What? Here in London, for the first time in history, mankind has completely conquered the darkness. <laughs> that sounds like the opening line to a very stupid B movie. And before the next game, we have the fucking. What is it? Fuck, I forgot the name of the serial killer. Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper? No, that was way before this. Which means we really need to hear those witnesses' statements because this takes place in like 1900. That's probably gonna be something like Black the, the Reaper. Some <laughs> um, uh, Ace Attorney name. If I could just get through the fog of this cross examination, maybe we'll be able to. It seems the counsel for the defense is taking stock. Continue with the testimony, Inspector. Hmm. Okay, don't you mean like out of the gray or the black if it was night? Hold it! Hold it. From behind, you say? Yeah, it's very hot. That's right. As you can see from this print. 
Yes, quite so, Inspector. And all the weapons squealed protruding from the victim's back. And you say this poor woman, Miss Green, remains in a critical condition. Comatose, no less. I'm a great song, well. Yes, she's been treating a box. Hmm. I was hopeful that she had come around before the trial started so I could take a cassette but it wasn't to me. Yes, that is indeed a pity. It would have been most illuminating to hear the victim's own account of events. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Luck is on the side, it seems. <laughs> For once. Slap. On the contrary, my client has been exceedingly unlucky. Objection. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Just ran off, scattering his belongings all over the floor. What, where were they belongings? The books, you mean? Mr. Nutsman's belongings? Um... I think you'll find it's all there in the photographic print of the crime scene. Right, so it's probably going to be three books that are not on the receipt. Yeah. Or maybe just one of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, both, yes. The three books on the floor. That's right, my lord. Second-hand books, they were. Irreparably damaged after falling the snow, of course. You can you just, like, you hang them over, like, over fire and dry them. The they found the snow, but two of them were like in the pavement. Yeah. The accused could easily have carried out three books in one hand. Which means... His other hand will have been free to wield a knife, for example. He's very clever, isn't he? What do you mean? He's made it extremely hard for you to assert that Mr. Hudson had his hand full with his books. He's managed to close the one avenue of escape we might have had before we even knew it was there. You mean to say that the family was only as belong as how you trust the knife into the woman's back? I'm asking what happened, my lord. Yes. But what are the books, then? You're not gonna tell me? Okay. Oh, maybe now you will. Oh. I remember all right. old books. Alright, alright. Let me, let me, let me, uh... No, 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 no. Wait, actually, yes. Let me let me look at the receipt. Yeah, let, let, uh, let's just commit the, the names to memory. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. So the a picture of Monsieur Lecoq. Yeah, picture, picture, picture meal and picture meal and yearnings. All right. Yearning for a picture of a meal. Instagram. <laughs> Something with a cock to it. Instagram. Yearning yeah, it's Instagram exactly. <laughs> okay, the defendant apparently visits a second-hand bookshop on a daily basis. Yes, so I understand. A shop full of all English literature. I command the accused on the lofty subject matter of his scholarly attention. Is honestly, it's worded like a compliment, but it sounds like an insult. Man, he sure loves life difficult stuff. A most room was stacked forward to ceiling with those musty old books. Can you tell us more about the bookshop in question, please, Inspector? Well, in Femas, I'll have to ask you to look at the street map again, I'm afraid. Hey, we're gonna have another thing in the The Bourbon Books! Bourbon Books! <laughs> hey, that's pretty close. That is pretty close. I called the second-hand bookshop to the accused lodgings in this place here. Bourbon Books. I have a place on the corner of Briar Road and near Sean Street. As it happens, the accused is currently leaving the lodgings on the other side of Briar Road, not the opposite end. Yeah, so he literally just ran across the road. Which means it doesn't take a genius to work out the route he would have taken home. Mm -hmm. But also, that he's doing a stabbing that would be incredibly stupid. Something like this. Okay. Hey. Nice. Yes, I concur with your conclusion, Inspector. The defendant would certainly have passed the scene of the crime on his way home from that particular shop. He doesn't deny that. Right? Mr. Narahodo, I think that what the inspector just told us could turn out to be of vital importance. Yes, I agree. 
The most important point of the inspector just made being. Shut up, can we see the coin right Yeah, there? I was just gonna say, your books. Your books. Yep. Hey, look, the one thing we didn't see was exactly. No, I was, I was, I was actually remembering the um the, the name on the receipt uh, being different. Uh, Which yeah, the name. Uh, Inspector Gregson, may I ask you a favor? Just one bite of that crispy fish, please. <laughs> would you kindly, would you kindly, add the name of the bookshop to your formal testimony, please? So I can object to that. Yeah. I believe it may be of vital importance. Uh, maybe? No, not maybe. You'll definitely do it. Ah, uh, well, you know. I mean, there yes. Go, it could be a very important clue. Very well. Not that I can see being of any great significance. But uh, please revise the testimony accordingly, Spectre. Yes, sound. Oh, whatever you say. Could the man be any more sardonic? Sardonic. Sardonic. To Google. Hold up. Yeah, please look that up now so I don't have to edit that Sar in. Sardonic. Sardonic the Hedgehog. Sardonic. Grimly mocking or cynical. Huh. So it's sarcastic? No, cynical. Just cynical. Yeah. But Huh. Humorous in an unkind way that shows you do not respect someone or yeah. something. Yeah, no, it's sarcasm. Yeah. Why All right. are you saying, my lord? <laughs> so he was. So you say he was on his way home from Bourbon Books, right? Well, you know, I can tell you that he did, in fact, buy books, but not there. You did she? Um, if, if, if I could just st stop you there, Inspector Grayson? What is it, sunshine? I'm a busy man. This is the receipt that we found in Mr. Natsuma's room. It was issued on the day of the incident and details the purchase of three second-hand books. Something about a cock, something about yearnings, and the third one I forgot. And you found it in the girl's room, did you? So I did. Yes, but the point is not where the receipt was found, but the name of the shop printed on it. God. This receipt was issued from a bookshop called Your Books. Your Books? Y-O-R-E, I presume. Uh-huh. Yes, my lord. Y-O-R-S. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Natsuma did indeed purchase a number of books at a second-hand bookshop that day. However, the bookshop in question was not Burbot Books. Burbot Books. <laughs> <laughs> I love that face. Do you know of this other bookshop? Hey, more man. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Your books is another second-hand bookshop not far from Barbara Book. Well, the competition is fierce in that part of town. It's just that... Well, it's such a small place. I, I didn't think any kids would have known about it. That's bad police oh, work, cheater. mister. Objection! 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 <laughs> But in fact, that is the bookshop which the defendant visited on the day in question. And this receipt proves it. Objection! No. Yes. So what difference it makes. Well, where is the shop then? Maybe where he took a different route. Is it just going to be slightly longer? <laughs> Whatever the man pushes his musty, musty tongues, it makes no difference in the final analysis. Oh, you just watch. I'll show you what difference it makes. Objection! Objection! <laughs> I disagree! I mean, after all, I'm, uh... I have the street map here, if that might be of help. Oh, um, yeah, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, have a look at this, please. Look at this map. The defendant had been returning from Bourbon Books. Bourbon Books? Then, yes, he would almost certainly have passed the place where Miss Green was attacked. However, if we take into account the fact that it was actually at another bookshop, your books... It may very well turn out that he wouldn't have passed that location at all. Is that the truth? <laughs> my, my. It rather depends on where this other bookshop is, but I do declare it may be a possibility. She really reminds me of Betty Book. Something like that, yeah. Right, Mr. Lawrence, uh, I just said. 
Talking about. <laughs> Are you actually doing your nails under that table? <laughs> can I can I have some of that polish, please? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely could be right. Now, now you uh, get me wonder if there is going to be a, a Pinocchio doing his nails joke, and then he's actually going to be nails. <laughs> <laughs> Oof! Oof! Oh, I didn't even think of that. Oh, that would be hilarious. He's just painting some wooden nails or just like hammers them in his fingers. I don't know. That would be gruesome. But hey, he's made of wood. Do, 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 Inspector Gregson. <laughs> Where is this your book's establishment? Where is your books? <laughs> well, absolutely we looked into that. Well, at least he did that much. It has happened that your books. Drum roll, please. It's on the other side of the street. What? Just right, just here on the next corner on Mishon Street, going east. The competition is fierce in that part of town. Okay, the local map's information has been updated in the court record. So, so we need to find out if there is any reason that he would take the other side. Because yeah. they are still gonna go. You can still keep going this way, bitch. Yeah. I prob that's probably have to do like with like the, the gas lights or something. It's like, oh, he wouldn't walk in the dark. So he went along the main roads. Make sure it makes sense. I mean, oh. there you have it, as you can clearly see now. Uh, oh. I have my new glass and new bottle. <laughs> my darling, my best friend is obviously training to be a clown. The way he we got regales, regales. Yeah, regales. With all his gale, else with such wits as it. Is, is this an Edgeworth thing? You're not just a clown, you're the entire circus. <laughs> so you teach your career in the circus. Thank you. <laughs> uh, put that glass down now, I'll put you down. I'll put it down for you. I'll put you down. I'll put I'll it put down you for you. This is not the take down. I didn't think I needed to spat it out, but here we go. Here we go. Here we go! <laughs> the accused was coming home from your books instead of Bourbon Parks. Really? I mean, I would I would take this route unless I have like unless there is something on the other part. Mm, yeah. And it's not that it's you that that's the place where the victim was stabbed. Unless he was taking another stop on the way. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Inspector. Uh -huh. I'm definitely not going to take a sip of this one. Allow me to reiterate for my learning you somewhat slow, Nipponese friend. Yeah, not taking a sip at all. Whatever the man purchases his musty tomes, it makes no difference to the final ones. Well, <laughs> you just wait. You you now. just you just wait. Oh, as I suspected, you count for me, and I don't suggest you try. What did I say? I uh, had enough of this now. Beg your pardon? Sorry, I'd be sorry, but would you mind if we been there? What do you mean, like the last half hour? Sure, no problem. Let's do it all again. Mr. Naruto, just the whole video. <laughs> we mustn't give up. What, what, what do you mean? The prosecution's assertion is correct. The members of the jury may very well decide that Mr. Hunt was yeah, guilty. Yeah, no shit. Oh, she's absolutely right. We must think. We must consider the assertion just put forward by the prosecution very, very carefully. They claim Sosek must have passed the location of the incident on his way home from your books, but... Leave it. Leave it. Just leave it. Let me look at the map again. Right, okay, so there's... Uh, there's nothing really new here except the locations of the... Storms. Don't see the other parts. The other things. Four forty-five p.m. Uh, pay from the Fry Road East side. Okay, yeah. East side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on the side of. For the. Oh, that's true. Running away from references. Okay, huh? Nothing. 
I mean, honestly, from from the from what I have in the court record, I can't glean anything. I'm gonna raise an objection anyway, just to see where it goes. Just because it can. Yeah, just because I can, but I I don't know. It might just be like shooting blanks here. The assertion just made by the prosecution is fundamentally flawed. You'll do tell. Bring yourself, counsel. Uh, y yes, my lord. Uh, you you can see what I mean on this map. It could also just be another. Like scripted thing where we have nothing. Yeah, I mean, do we do we just do we just assume that... because there is another route that he could have possibly taken? Yeah, yeah like, like, right. You, you're gonna say it, it could be a scripted thing. Like maybe we can, but then the jury is not gonna the people in the jury is not are not gonna believe you, and then you yeah. have to claim the things. Yeah. To yeah, but I think the thing that the thing that we're going off of is that there is like technically a different route that he could have taken. Yeah. Right. Like oh he he can not only yeah Mr. Spencer could have followed the route suggested by the prosecution, however, in a different universe, that is the only conceivable route to take between the two places. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. You can just go the long way. If the defendant used these streets, look what happens. He arrives back at his lodgings without passing the location where the victim was attacked. Objection. Why would anyone go the long way? Fuck off. It's uh, talking back to the clowns and fools there, and of course. However, I feel compared to point out that. That route is what's commonly referred to as the long way route. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're huh. like kindergartens here. Yeah. On a cold winter's night, why would any man choose to take a longer route home? Plus, people? I don't know. Maybe we need. We have another stop. We don't know anything yet. Maybe the gas lights were broken, or not lit, along that way, Briar Road, right? Maybe he. Maybe he took the route with more people. Huh. To like not not be alone at night. The yes, is extremely simple. He would. Any other words? Q E D. The accused took the obvious route back to his lodgings, and it's the obvious perpetrator of this crime. Objection! Ob objection. <laughs> I'll prove that he went that way then. Uh, but, 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 uh, yes, I've got it. Obviously, we must ask the man himself. Ask Mr. Natsuma which route he took home. I've already informed the court of the accused's response to such question. He claims he has no recollection. <laughs> I am inclined to believe that. Uh, he is drugged in the long run. That's right. As I said, the book seems to spend his time outside, running aimlessly from A to B. Honestly, mood though. Because when he's at home, he thinks he's being haunted. <laughs> yeah, by the carbon monoxide. He, he, doesn't he doesn't remember where he, he was or which route he took home. Huh. It's the shock, I tell you. Don't. I don't believe this! Ah. I thank you, my learned friend. And suggest that we do not waste any more of the court's time wandering aimlessly around this subject. Very eloquently put. Pray, what say you, insightful jurors? Rip! Necromancy. But, but even if that's the case, the defense still. Who's yelling at me? What? Wow, why are you mad at me? Everybody. I agree. Lord, I still don't like you, Fair Play. I still don't like you. Oh, and Navi, wait. What? I don't believe it. Does this is mean I'm guilty? We made jury. Please, please, not. Do I already have to do the thing? Don't tell me I already have to do the thing. Very well. I mean, in the last case, we didn't even get to get to the first. Uh, oh, that's very true. <laughs> very well, in that case, I hereby call upon any members, all members of the jury, to present your findings to the court. Guilty. 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 Wait, that's voice. Guilty. Guilty. Oh. Guilty. Wow. Guilty. Okay, juror, juror number five does not sound like I thought he would. Guilty. 
Well, that's it to get game over. I guess that's it. Sorry. Uh, no more playing this game, I guess. We lost. Sponsored by Umbrella. <laughs> it appears the journey's leaning is unanimous. Yeah, it's time to do... What is the name of the thing? Um, it's whatever examination or something. The, um, summary, summa, is it summation? Summation, summation examination yeah. Myself. Yes. Summation examination. <laughs> to the insightful members of the jury, I applaud your brave is all. You serve queen, country, admirable. Uh, objection? I would, I would like to do the thing, please. Stenarado. It's time to do the <laughs> get out of jail free card. No, not yet. This isn't over yet. I still have one last chance to sway yeah. the opinion of the jury. <laughs> Make them fight like chickens! In a cockfight, cockfight, cockfight! I have to tip the balance of those scales the other way. I have to turn this around! Somehow! Those are the eyes of coin. Oh, yeah, we need to get up and die. <laughs> what happened to the wide stare? Oh, you you presume right. Oh. The... No, I just smelled it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I pray for you, little chalice. <laughs> if uh, Sebastian, can you pull like really sad eyes if he does have the animation of breaking? <laughs> A really sad smiley face. <laughs> the rights of the defense written into antiqu antiquated British law that should have been buried long ago. Well, they didn't do it, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Call it antiquated if you will. But it's the defense's prerogative to carry out a summation examination if it so chooses. Very well, counsel. Let's end this shit with. <laughs> In accordance with the letter of the law, we shall proceed huh. with the summation examination. All right, cockfight time. Are the members of the jury ready, Mr. Foreman? Of course, ready. Malt of many with nippies, whippers, nappies, uncles with fierce to tow the out. <laughs> Very well then. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will each explain on what grounds you have determined the defendant to be guilty. I don't like his face. I don't like his mustache. Well, I don't like your face. Judicial findings. The jurors' contentions. Okay, say, the little Nipponese saucy already admitted. So, did he? If he said that a woman in green collapsed before his eyes, why, it can only have been the victim. So, so the poor woman was attacked from behind her. How dreadful. I really don't care. Can we just wrap this up now? I got work to be doing. That's not what the, the juror sounded so like in the voice clip, but I don't care. Important to say except for Pinocchio and probably the old man. Uh, looks like it. I guess the garden home has an opinion here. Okay. Hmm. Mm. The only minor exception is the reasons for finding the defense guilty are all too clear. They can't be bothered. <laughs> when a stabbing occurred. The two, the only two people at the scene were the victim and the accused. Says the police guy. And the accused himself <sighs> has admitted to seeing the victim in the green overcoat sink to the ground before his eyes. Maybe it wasn't her then? Furthermore, oh. we have heard from the inspector that the defendant then fled the scene. I must say, I would have ample grounds to convince this man already. Really? Oh dear, even the judge appears convinced of Mr. Natsumi's guilt now. Well, why did they have to run away like that? And how are we supposed to believe in some phantom attacker that nobody could see? This is impossible. I can't possibly make a case for the defense. Mr. Natahodo, there's no time for grumbling. 
If you want to force this trial to continue... Yes, I know. I have to turn the tide. I must make the jurors change their minds. Well, four of them at least. Exactly. We have no choice but to forge forward. You have the floor, Council. Begin your summation examination. Yes, my lord. Ow. <laughs> I just need to keep this trial going somehow. Out, <laughs> Whatever it takes. Come on, Yonosuke. You can do it. You can you do it. The guy that said something was old man. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go to that place. Why not? Like, why would you not? And how? And do you know the area? <laughs> Look at Gregson back there. <laughs> well, now I'm press the press every yeah. Uh, excuse me, but aren't you uh? Short to be a stormtrooper? <laughs> yes, that's right. I was a witness standing myself just two days ago. Yes, I had a feeling I knew your face. Oh, the side of it anyway. If I remember correctly, you're a banker, aren't you? That's right. After the gold burst down, no, I came back to the world. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh, uh -huh, I told you he was Australian. <laughs> I come from the land down under. <laughs> it was all going swimmingly until you saw you fossil in the round. Bruce Frackley was man of the people. The, sorry? No, I think I forgot how you did me the other day. You had me the young pup, right? As creatures. I'm sorry, the only the only guy I want to peg right now is on there on the prosecution side. Ah, oh, well, you know, water under the bridge. Stop. <laughs> for two days now, for two days. If if I could turn back the clay, if I could turn back time. Well, anyway, I don't know what about to happen, but at least I'm the clear now. Oh, so the guy's still on top. Mm. Free to make up my own mind about who's beautiful, who is. Uh, thank goodness. Alright, maybe I might struggle to change this man's mind given all awkward history. Oh, gee, I wonder what's become of Mr. First now. So that's not him, but yeah, he did look a bit different. If I said the woman in green collapsed before the eyes, why can't I make them? Really? Does no one else wear green coats? You're right, that at the time of the incident. The defendant admits to having seen someone wearing a green overcoat walking ahead of him. Well, quite. That's precisely my point. Clearly, that someone wearing green was the wait. The wait. 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 With the blah 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 blah. The someone wearing green was the victim. Wait. Wait. That wind. That's all. He's strong enough. And clearly, that funny little Nipponese man with the disturbing mustache is the culprit. She's just gonna grow muscles. But let us not forget, madam, the defendant vehemently denies attacking the woman. Why, oh, yeah, of course he does. If he admits to stabbing her, his life is over. She reminds me of what's her face, uh, April May, when she does the finger points to her. Oh, yeah, face. a little bit. Man is obviously a liver faced coward, honestly. Claiming the woman simply collapsed before his eyes. But if that's the lies you're suggesting, do you not think he would have concocted something more credible? I really couldn't say. After all, you are foreign. Who's to say what goes through your funny little minds? Oh, I do not like you. I can oh, tell yeah, you what's going through my funny little mind right now, but you wouldn't like it. <laughs> we can see, like, her ears is at, at a different tone than her skin because he, she powders her face. Uh-huh. That's not. That's nice. I do declare the man has already made the admission. He himself stated that there was nobody else around. Surely his conclusion is obvious. No one else could have possibly committed this awful crime. Ugh. No one else could have done it. The accused must be the man. Really, it couldn't be more simple. Your argument is compelling in its simplicity, I must admit. Oh my, you're too kind, my lord. That went well for her. So Pinocchio has to say. <laughs> Hold it right there. But you can't deny that there are other routes Mr. Nutsmay could have taken from your books. Why are you annoying me? <laughs> I am. I can do the map, man. What's that? Can I 
casual or something. Precisely. But it seems to me that she leaves your life like a candle in the wind. Then what comes when the little Japanese fellow actually went away or not? <laughs> well, yes, that's true. At the moment, there's no proof that she did, is there? Well, yes, that's true as well. As I understand it, the accused himself doesn't remember which way he went, does he? Well, yes, that's annoyingly true. When the nights are dark and cold, so the way I'm saying you want to get home as quick as possible. Well, yes. Why is all this true? So really, the only thing that made sense is that we went home alone by a road. <laughs> ah, I'm supposed to be convincing you here. I'm getting a lot of talk, you know. And it's just because my mom do not want to win that he did it. Hmm. I mean, there's some logical reason why he might have gone the kind of basketball way. It'd be different. Hmm. I'd be happy to reconsider my position the case. Honestly, I would. Hmm, the reason why Sosik son might have taken the longer way home. Yes, a good reason. I don't imagine you'll be able to sway this young man's opinion without one. Uh, so we're going to beat the old man against Pinocchio? I guess so. It looks looks to be like that, huh? So the poor woman was attacked from behind. Was she? How dreadful. Oh! Hold it! Hold it! Uh, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Whatever's the matter, young man? Uh, you're the wife of Mr. Garadev, aren't you? The landlord who rents Mr. Natsume's room? The master's wife? Where do you get your ideas, sir? I'm the maid, the maid, you understand. He's keeping up that charade. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Uh, why didn't you mention this yesterday? That you'd been selected for the jury in this trial, I mean? Well, I was told not to mention it to anyone until the day of the trial, you see. Uh, it was in the letter I received. The instructions were very clear. So I'm afraid I had no choice. I mean, too right. I see. Anyway, Mr. Nutsma, uh, the defendant, takes lodging in your uh, master's house, doesn't he? Yes, that's right. Although he's only been in a little over a week now. And at that time, surely you must have taken stock of his character. Does Mr. Nutsma look like the kind of man who would commit a crime such as this? Yes. Oh my goodness me, yes! He's just the sort! What? Spending all his time in the dark and dingy room! Sporting that unscrupulous mustache. The man never speaks. And don't get me started on those shifty eyes. All the neighbors are talking about him. I've oh, heard them, you know. <laughs> People think he must be building a bomb in there or something. Oh dear, Mr. Nutsman. How could people say such things about him? He's just a harmless bookworm. Nothing more. Well, he just called him a worm, so... I wonder when the kitty cat is going to be relevant. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I better be careful about inviting this maid to speak. She's said enough damning things already. Very true. Wait, are we gonna meet the cat dad because he was in the room, in the room alone with only the cats? Oh, please, no. Hold it! Alright, what about you, Mr. I don't know, dock worker guy? A man's life is on the line here, sir. It will take as long as it takes. We're done when we're done, and math is math. Don't get clever with me now, son. My life's on the line, too, and so is my family's. What? Uh, like so you wouldn't understand, but a laborer like me can't afford to take time off. If I don't work, I don't eat. And neither do the wife and kids. Oh, oh, I see. That must be very hard. I go to the union every morning to find out what needs to it. If you're late and the work's taken, it's tough. This time of the year, there's water and gas. Water and gas supply pipes burst oh. left, right, and center. So you have a knowledge of gas pipes. Interesting. Uh huh. Interesting. So maybe maybe the lights did not work then. I have to cheap lever to get the road stung up to fix it. It's hard to slog from dusk to dawn till dusk it is. So you were out digging up the roads on the day of the incident as well, were you? That's right. In fact, if I remember rightly. 
It was just around the corner from where it all happened, uh, by that old bookshop it was. Oh, uh, so what? Was a, Another so was a work going, meaning that So is, is this really the thing that we're going? Is oh, the, the lamps didn't work and that's why he went the long way around? Or maybe that there was a work going, so the road was like or that, closed. Or that, yeah. Or maybe the road was closed, yeah. That's right. Uh, Mashroom Street it was. Mashroom Street, huh? On the map, Mr. Naruto, there are, there are only three streets. <laughs> they were only three named streets. Juror number five, I need you to add that information to your formal statement, please. Yeah. What's the point in that? Can you just get this business over with now? Please, sir, it's important. Ah, fine, I'll do it then. All right, then. On the day it happened, I was digging up Mayor Shama Street from dawn till dusk. Tell me about that. Yeah, so... So I found so a thing correctly. It's against Pinocchio, actually. Yeah, yeah, we looks like it, yeah. The world was closed. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's let, let's see here. Uh, so if I understand correctly, you're a day laborer and you were doing uh, road maintenance that day? That's right. Like I said, you get a lot of burst gas and water pipes on the ground in the middle of winter. It's the only time a year fellas like me can actually make a few bob and I'm missing out today. And when you say from dawn till dusk, well, that has to be completed within the day, see? No coaches or pedestrians can pass while it's happening. Yeah, there you go. Yep. I wonder if I could trouble you, sir. <laughs> Show me on the map. To mark on this street map the exact location of the works you were uh, carrying out. We have evidence. Give it here then, let me have a look. Right here on the corner. Right, let's see then. There oh. We yeah, there we go. Yeah, we are on Mushroom Street. Uh, yes, what's just here like? It was a tidy dig, I can tell you. you. Gotta get through all the drifts of snow and out of frozen solid. Man, we gotta know all this block by the end of this case. <laughs> and at what sort of time did you finish the work? Well, we started in the morning and we can't have finished before gone six, I'd say. The snow is still coming down, which is long past dark for sure. That means the road work was still going on and Miss Green was attacked around five o'clock. Road works on Mirshram Street, huh? Yeah, I sure hope it does. <laughs> I, 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 I love this little garden gnome dude. <laughs> sure, tell me about your opinion on the bookshops. You don't wanna? Sorry. What did you say? No, hold it. I said hold. No, no, no. What I said was hold it. What I wanted to ask was, uh, do you visit uh, your books often? I like your books, say Happy Daddy, yes. I enjoy reading them over a nice cup of old tea. <laughs> so you like old things? That's my daily routine, you see. Ten thing a day, including the day you don't talk in that mouth. And at what time did you visit your books on the day in question? Speaking of books and then in the afternoon, afternoon, it would have been just before five that I left. Oh, so you probably saw the guy then, huh? That's my little machine to see. Oh, a guy in green. <laughs> yeah, I was just, I was just thinking that too. That's my little machine to see. Same thing every day, including the day we're talking about. You're just repeating yourself now. Just before five, you say. Exactly when the victim was attacked. Are you sure about the time? Oh yes, no mistake there. Yeah. I remember it well. I'm not about to forget the day in a hurry. Not after the dreadful time I had also used the oh. film. Did you use yeah, exactly. What do you mean? Oh, uh, I was walking <laughs> down Calabash Road when I slipped on the ice and dumped me here. Okay, so who was it that was like oh the uh juror two, right? With oh it could could it only was... have been the woman, right? Yeah. He was Very, wearing was green. Mary yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 So we got the two that uh, the two so pairs that we need. Mary Poppins and Pinocchio against worker guy and Geppetto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> so it's rough after the snow stopped falling. That's when it's most slippery. Yeah. Knocked myself clean out of it. Really thought my number was up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. This happened on Calabash Road? That's right. I live in Quiet Life, you see. And 
and now Calabash Rune is the quickest way for me to get back from your books. Juror number six, I must insist that you add that information to your formal statement. It may very well be extremely significant. Hmm? Sorry? Extremely sick? No, no, quite right now. Significant. You're sick. Does significant. It will be significant. He's, he's not adding it. He's not. <laughs> Since the shiver down my spine, you hear the members of the jury so convinced that Mr. Nesbitt is guilty. But I can't help feeling that some of their opinions are rather subjective. But all opinions yeah, are kids. all opinions are subjective. Yeah. That's what makes them no opinions. opinions objective. Yes. You 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 think you think the, the only things that are objective are facts. Facts are objective, opinions are subjective. That's what makes them opinions. They're subjective. I agree, it's irrelevant. It's the irrelevance of what some of them are saying that sends a shiver down my spine. Still, at least some of their assertions don't actually incriminate Mr. Nelson of anything. That's something. Something. You must use that to our advantage, Mr. Narhodo. Cunningly. Yes, you're right. Let's listen to the jurors again carefully. If any of their assertions are at odds, I'll pit them again mercilessly against each other. Cock fight, cock fight. Yes, don't hold back. Pit them all against each other. Um. <clears throat> um. No, not you. Okay, so woman in green. Do we do uh, two and six first? Uh, yeah. I mean, we can we can start with three and five because two and six feels like the most important one because it, it means that he might have not been around the crime at all. Like this is just like he might just walk another way. Actually, yeah, I agree. So. Uh, so yeah, there we go. So yeah, the man, yeah. yeah, I was just looking at the text boxes. Uh, the man wouldn't have gone around the houses on his way back from the bookshop last winter. On the day in heaven, it was taking Mersham Street from dawn till dusk. Objection! Yeah. Objection! Those two statements are clearly at odds with one another. What do you mean? At odds, Council? Explain yourself. <laughs> Boy, it was a mere swear. <laughs> <laughs> eh, what? I, I just want to get this done and dusted. This is so annoying. <laughs> what is that pose? Well, juror number three. Uh, me? What, what, what do you mean? Juror number five's words are uh, just now extremely significant. It will be significant. <laughs> Let's take a moment to consider the implications of what's been said on our map of the local area. On the day in question, Mr. Natsuma visited this bookshop to purchase a number of secondhand books. And on the same day, we now know that there was works being carried out on Meerschaum Street, making it impassable. Which means that the defendant's route home could not have taken him along Meerschaum Street and down Briar Road. <laughs> Sorry, taking a drink. Yep, sure. <laughs> Take your time. Uh, yeah, of course. But well, what do you think, sir? <laughs> well, yes, you can't argue with that, really, can you? Must have had a good two yards or more on the pavement up. Every gentleman and gentlewoman that came along had to turn back and go the other way. Right. So the only conclusion is this the defendant must have taken the longer route back to his lodgings. I suppose he must have. I, I suppose I must be right, huh? Juror number three, you said the following. The man wouldn't have gone around the houses on his way back from the bookshop. But we see now that he had no choice. Thank you very much, Pinocchio. When can I leave to be on my own? <laughs> what well, about you, sir? Uh, who, me? Oh, well, 
All right, then. That's a hole in the prosecution's argument. It should be filled in. That's what I say. Yeah, I want to fill the prosecution's hole. I mean, what? Possibly umbrella. <laughs> oh, well done, Mr. Naruto. That was wonderful. Oh, we managed to change a couple of minds, at least. Strengthen our position somewhat. Yes, and we'll prompt the other members of the jury to reconsider their sense as well. They'll be asking themselves if their current leanings are really right or not. Are they really? Now, if only... If we could just identify one more clue or discrepancy that would make them stop doubting Mr. Natsume. We might be able to tip the balance completely. Yes, that's exactly what we've got to do. Zeke is looking to bring this trial to an early conclusion. That's what we have to prevent, by whatever means we have at our disposal. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was asleep. <laughs> Thank you, Consul. On with this mystery examination, please. Yes, my lord. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So... Woohoohoo! Collapse before his eyes and slip. Yep, there we go. Objection! The objection! <laughs> Those two statements clearly show a flaw in the juror's reasoning. A flaw? What are you talking about, counsel? Well, juror number two, uh, juror number six. My, whatever do you mean, sir? It would be funny if, like, her sweat drop would clear some of the powder. <laughs> <laughs> I think perhaps the old man didn't hear you. Oh, pfft. Unbelievable. It's not like it was loud or anything. There's at least one fact of which we can be sure here. The bookshop receipt found in the defendant's room clearly indicates that on the day of the attack... Am I annoying yet? He had been to your books and purchased a number of second-hand titles. He then returned home on foot. But the man says he has no recollection of his return journey. Oh, her sweat drop does the same as on Garrett. Yeah, it looks... <laughs> That's correct. Oh, he does remember seeing someone appear in front of him on the way. Someone in a green overcoat who suddenly collapsed on the pavement before his eyes. Yes, we are all aware of, of all this. The poor young woman who was stabbed, obviously. Objection. No. Can we really be sure of that, madam? My, whatever do you mean? I'm sure you heard juror number six's account of what had happened to him that day. That same afternoon, there was somebody else apart from the victim who was wearing a green overcoat and who fell over on the icy streets in the neighborhood. Oh my. Wait, do you mean that there are more than one person having a green overcoat in London? I you <laughs> That's right. I'm referring, of course. To hard of hearing juror number six. Are you really suggesting that the person in the green overcoat whom the defendant saw collapsed in front of his eyes? Was the jolly old gentleman on the end of the bench here with me today? That is entirely possible, yes. I After all, the, oh, the, the old man has a somewhat similar build to the victim. Well, look at that. Oh, my goodness me. Sir, you need to pee? Yes. And crucially... <laughs> yes. And no, don't worry, I already went in my pants. And crucially, we know precisely where the old man in the green overcoat fell. On Calabash Road. Therefore, if the person who Mr. Nutsmith saw collapsing in front of him was in fact juror number six, it means the defendant must have taken the long route back to his lodgings. And if that's true, then clearly... The crime scene on Briar Road where the woman was stabbed was not on his way home. Oh my! Yeah. Right in the boob. You idiot, old man. If you haven't been so daft to roaming about there, we'd have boxed this off hours ago. And really, what were you thinking wearing such a befuddling coat? What? I don't go fuck off. you <laughs> <laughs> to me? Isn't it kind of funny how they need to walk the streets these days? 
It's a crime to slip all around the ice. Is it a crime to keep with the latest styles of our beautiful green overcoat, is it? <laughs> My lord, I do hope it won't cause any inconvenience, but... Your wife has changed your meaning, I presume? <laughs> Been there, done that. I do declare that I would. Would you like to call for a verdict of not declare. guilty? I do declare. I do declare. Thank you. And I will too. What? Because apparently I, I am the victim. Is it a crime to speak to mind, is it? Well... Not here, no. You can, you can, you can change your mind to, to not kill you all you want. Don't change it back again. Thank you very much, Lee. 